while these COVID numbers show a steady decline all across the state. But researchers say the snowstorm last week could lead to an apparent drastic drop in positive cases. As CBS4's Mike Sullivan reports, those numbers may not tell the full story. It's Mother Nature's way of a quarantine. Whitewash the roads, halt our lives with snow, trap Hoosiers indoors. It's going to be a, a wacky week of numbers, I think. With COVID testing sites shut down, vaccine sites shut down, experts at Regan Street Institute believe. Numbers that we're going to see this week are going to be very low, and so it may falsely appear that COVID has disappeared. It has not. Uh, we're kind of slowly coming down. Don't be fooled by the sudden plummet. We're anticipating a spike maybe later this week or the following week. Vipin Adlaka is president of ARIA Diagnostics, a local private testing company. Our testing numbers have been declining over the last three weeks. We saw a significant drop last week, uh, starting on Wednesday with the threat of the storm. Over the past few weeks, the testing volume at ARIA has been down 50%. I think the other drop that we've been seeing is directly tied to the at-home tests. For some of those tests, users don't need to report results to the state. We calculate our positivity rate simply by the number of positives over the total number tested. Since our total number tested has gone down, but the positives have remained the same, so our positivity rate is a little higher. Many people are highly infectious for the first couple of days that they've been infected. And so with those individuals staying home for a few days, not going to restaurants, bars or even work, they prevented them from spreading it to a few people in close contact with them. And that will help us overall. In Indianapolis, I'm Mike Sullivan, CBS 4 News.